okay this is the most important video in this video we are going to add a payment gateways in usa the most popular is strip and india the most popular option is razor pay so we will add these two options in this video so basically user can able to do a payment with strip as well as razor pay let's go with this very first we have to go to the plugin sections and click on add new plugin here add strip u commerce we can able to see that here it is options appearing here that is u commerce strip payment gateway click on install and click on activate now we will add another payment option called as rozer pay so for that we will add here and here you will find the option rozer pay for o commerce make sure that the all the payment options are created by the company itself so in this case this rozer pay option or a plugin has been created by official rozer pay company so i will click on this option install now if you wanted to add pay you money so you can able to do the same thing cc avenue do the same thing if you are from germany canada usa there are lot of payment options are there and all the biggest payment companies are allowing to use their payment option with a woocommerce software click on activate here we had activated a two plugin called as rozer pay and strip so we will go to the woocommerce and click on setting section click on payments this is what we are trying to say is here all the strip related options are appear here you can see a lot of options will be there so based on your need you can able to set up but in this case i might be go with a strip credit card option so you have to enable this option rozer pay is already enable and we will first try to do with a rozer pay here you can able to give the titleization so that appears here so this is what the title is if you change here the title it will appears here the title exactly the same that you will write here the payment will get authorized directly if you wanted to know more about authorization and captureization so capture means just payment received but it is not been verified if you click on authorized means payment received and we are giving authority to activate a course so in this case maybe you can able to click on authorized and there are lot of things will be there if you wanted to create a hook that time you can able to add this and make sure that always has to copy this hook into your rozer pay account so this is all about rozer pay but if you go back and click on strip payment option here are there are lot of settings will be there so in this case it will ask for you a public key and secret key and for the demonstration purpose i had pasted here a test public key and now the secret key you can able to see the secret key we start with sk secret key is here go go to the bottom there are lot of settings will be there you can able to choose all this based on your payment options and go to the save changes and here we had tick mark this the enable test mode because of that it is giving you an warning this will disable any connection to the strip because we are using here a test mode if you remove this it will go to the live mode you have to enter the original apis keys so in this case we are going with a test one just to show you a demonstration here we had already saved the settings now we will go to the front end and click on refresh here it is the strip payment option it will ask for the card details so in this case for demonstration purpose i already went to their own website and here they had shown that we can able to use the card 
फोर टू 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 सो लेट मी एड हियर फोर टू 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 एंड एक्सपायरी डेट वी कैन एबल टू पुट एनीथिंग If user wanted to save the card, you can be able to click on this and process the order. So in this case, we have to add this all information. So let me add this, and here we need to add the all the informations here. Now click on place order. Here you can able to see that we have successfully placed an order. Now we can able to go to our dashboard to see the course. Here we cannot able to see any active course or enrolled course. so we can able to go to the enrollment tab and here you can able to see the option or status on hold why because the payment has to be received at so in this case if you wanted to do a manual payment so you can able to click on complete the course has been enrolled now i will click on refresh you can see that the course has added successfully if user wanted to see his own courses he can able to click on enrolled courses and here is the best part we had now covered almost all the payment options so you do not have to worry about getting the manual payment from the users in the next upcoming videos we are going to customize this all websites to looks good so user can able to get the branding value from your lms